if you see some colors that bled into your picture and you're upset about it, go ahead and lift them out. See, some of these are going to be very light against a dark. It just takes a minute to lift out some of this. For most of it, I don't mind. I like that little bit of pink bleeding in. So just about everything here I like. Now I'm going to add some nice out of focus stuff. This is really important. So just taking a little quinacridone gold, a little bit of Antwerp blue, and maybe even a little Windsor yellow, just to get a nice light yellowy color. I'm going to take and put in some out of focus things is a good time just to have a little fun doing some of these really soft background foliage. You can just look at your picture because there's just tons of foliage. I didn't put in that much foliage. And just kind of lace it through and really just have fun with it. This is one of my favorite parts. It's almost the reason I do an underpainting so I can play with these out of focus leaves. Very nice. So I really feel these out of focus events are really important. So take a little time to do it. I'm doing it with my script brush. This is just a very nice brush. It holds so much paint that you can just go and go and go and go. Very cool. And try to interlock all these. See, if you do this and you have to go through the images, you're creating depth. You're starting to create background space. But if you constantly do this at the path of least resistance, that's not a good idea. Now I put a little Antwerp in here. I'm going to make it a little darker. And notice I pushed a little bit of that pink in there too, which made it grayer. So I'm, I'm going to do just a few more, only a little darker. And see, my paper is so wet. They're just going to stay really soft. I could afford to go even a little darker. Oh, this is fun. And let's see, we need to have something coming up here. And a lot of times at these intersections, there'll be another little leaf in the background. So you can add a few leaves at these intersections here. Your picture will tell you all kinds of ideas. Now, this is like eating potato chips. I better quit pretty soon. I could never stop. I could do this forever. Maybe one more darker up here. And notice how I'm going over the other one. That's intentional. So you can create more depth by going in front of another one. And that will help create the depth that I'm talking about. 